Hi there, everybody. This is Jeremy Siskin. I am the author of Jazz Piano Fundamentals and playing solo jazz piano. I'm a really bad whistler, uh, but that's my best celebratory whistle. Um, and today I want to share something that I've been working on really for the past two or maybe three years or maybe even longer, which is incorporating five tuplets into my playing. So I got inspired to do this after doing a couple of transcriptions of two very different musicians. On one hand, uh, Tigran Hamasayan, the great Armenian uh, pianist who's so great with different kinds of meters that are complex and different kinds of subdivisions. So that might not surprise you. But on the other hand, I was transcribing some Hank Jones, noticing that like his playing, he certainly used a lot of eighth notes and 16th notes, but he also had these moments where it seemed to be that there were five notes fitting into a beat and it made it feel a little bit more fluid. And so I started experimenting with these kinds of things and started noticing that musicians like, let's say Cannonball Adderley, Hank Mobley, also you know, occasionally use these kind of flurries of five tuplets in their playing. So how would I practice it? How would I use it? Well, um, let's begin. And before I would do anything else, I would just figure out what a five tuplet feels like and start just playing only in five tuplets. And of course, we could make five tuplets out of lots of different subdivisions. We could put five quarter notes into a group of four. We could put five eighth notes into a group of four. We could put five sixteenth notes into a group of four. And so, um, you know, you can experiment with different subdivisions all over. But I think it's just nice. I think about kind of eighth notes, da, 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 da. So you're basically five notes per half note. And at the beginning, and honestly, even as I work on this, one of the five tuplets might be a little bit longer, one might be a little bit shorter, but I think your eventual goal should be to really get them all completely even. And to me, when it's feeling good, it feels like one long arc instead of like start, start, stop, start, start, or, you know, like accents in the middle. So it could just be... kind of started, if it helps you, is uh, to think about some different words that have five syllables. Um, the one that I use the most is indescribably, indescribably, indescribably. But you notice that even that has like a little accent, indescribably, indescribably. So it kind of starts to imply some time. And with as you get towards these larger and larger groups, it's almost impossible to not put a little, at least a tiny sub accent somewhere. Um, you can try different kind of groupings in the left hand. So there I was playing quarter notes, right? thing that Tigran does is he plays with the five tuplets. He goes one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Okay. And then what I really wanted to be able to do was to go between different metrical units. So um, let me see if I can make this work. Ah, cool. It wasn't working at all. Um, hopefully it will appear right now. Great. So for instance, we could play our scales and alternate between regular eighth notes and then a group of five regular eighth notes, a group of five. I'm gonna get, start getting really high, but I think you get the idea. And so this, you know, is practicing one, two, three, four, switching 
and trying to find that five tuplet subdivision really quickly. So da 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 so challenging to find exactly that five tuplet um, right off the bat. You can also, because this is certainly musically relevant, go between eighth note triplets and five tuplets. So you might think of this as a group of six and use two groups of eighth note triplets and then a five tuplet. And rather than the five tuplet feeling like it's accelerating, like it is in that first grouping, now it's gonna feel like it's decelerating slightly, right? Because those first two beats, we're stuffing in six notes, whereas in the next two beats, we're only putting in five. heard this on a recent Chris Potter CD. I can't quite remember offhand who the pianist was. But at the peak of his solo, he was playing fives, kind of against four in the left hand. Tuplets, they are not perfect. They need more work to get really steady. Other things to do is to try different shapes. So practice impro improvising now, maybe just over a 2-5-1 progression with five tuplets. Um, but I think often when we think of five tuplets, we think, oh, it's easy. <laughs> say five notes all going down like a cascade or we have but the thing about having five notes in a beat or five notes in two beats depending on how you do it is that now you're going to have different shape options than you would in four beats so what I like doing you know first of all is just putting the peak at some different places so for instance one two three four five going up to the second of the five tuplet. Ba, 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 ba. Excuse me. Whoa. Come on, be cooperative here. There we go. Okay. Uh, you know, trying to improvise always with the peak at the second of the five tuplets. So maybe I'll play a two, five, one and C. symmetrical.
And of course, within five notes, you could also turn around a couple times. So. down and I'm making a little bit of a figure S, I guess like a S going this way. I was going to say a figure eight, but it's more of this kind of like S curve. So there's all those possibilities. Um, so that's another kind of workout to do. And then I, I go to my two, five, one, and I'm going to try to mix. Seven, da, 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 da. I'm trying to mix in groups of four eighth notes versus five eighth notes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Good. I'm not doing it with the metronome right now, but I would definitely practice this with the metronome um, because it's easy to have those five templates, you know, <laughs> come in too fast and then you're kind of like dropping a part of a beat or like, I, I don't find myself coming in too slow, but I'm guessing it's possible too. So five and 16 notes and those are going to be less kind of um, audible um, because 16 notes kind of come as a flurry sometimes so it might not be that distinguishable from like two sixteenths and sixteenth triplets so and less da 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 like stringent. Um, now, and I hope it, it's pretty clear that this whole thing is like very much a work in progress for me. Um, one thing that I really can't do yet, but is really interesting to me, is to use some ties in five tuplets. All right, so, I mean, in every other rhythmic unit, we use ties. So what if it was, um, I'll start over, da da Da, 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 da. Uh, okay, so here we go. Here's my group of five. Tie this. Tie that over, etc. that okay so these are all groups of five so you can see so like as I'm doing that I'm not really confident I'm in those groups of five anymore so I really need to pat them all on my chest da, 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 da. I'm losing it. It's really hard for me. Da 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 da. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two. Really hard for me to keep track. And here's one just like crazy for me. Crazy goal. I'm sure you know the great drummers would laugh and think that this was really easy. But you know, one thing at a time would be. 
to play like all the, for instance, offbeats of the five couplets. So like, uh, I did that badly. <laughs> Let's try one more time. So to basically tie, and what this is essentially gonna do and I know this on some level, is that it's going to make quarter note five tuplets. Um, but starting and stopping, especially like on the quote unquote off beats, is very hard for me. Etc. Really tricky to try to put in some slurs and have variety within that five tuplet rhythm the same way that we have variety within a six beat note, eight note, quarter note rhythm. All right, I hope that that made some level of sense. Uh, here, that's just some of the things that I'm experimenting with and challenging myself with regarding five tuplets. Um, feel free to uh, send me a comment. Let me know what suggestions and thoughts you have. If you are a little bit musically crazy like me um, and like digging into this stuff, you might really enjoy this book, Playing Solo Jazz Piano, where I explore a lot of pianistic concepts. Um, and if you're still more in the getting started phases, these books, Jazz Piano Fundamentals, might be for you. Thanks a lot, everybody. Um, why don't you comment Take 5 if you've watched the whole thing. See you later.